So right at the new year, my film store, where I basically buy all my film from, started selling expired film. And, you know, for someone like me who hasn't really shot a whole lot of expired film, I, you know, jumped on that opportunity right away and bought three rolls of 120 film. You know, not really paying much attention to which films I bought. Kind of just more of the sense like, oh, I can, you know, make a video shooting me with expired film. Um, but it was until, you know, 12 days later on January 15th, where the news of Fuji Pro 400, you know, being discontinued, kind of uproared the film community that, you know, I actually paid more attention to the three rolls that I bought. So it turns out one of the roles that I bought was actually Fuji Pro 400. And, you know, when I was buying it, I actually wasn't, you know, consciously paying attention to it too much. It was more of the sense that, oh, you know, a lot of people, you know, talk about this film and how great it is. Why not, you know, get it and see what it's all about, you know, see how it holds up expired. But so I just, you know, completely by accidentally bought this. And it really wasn't until after, you know, everyone was, you know, making these videos about it, you know, talking about shooting your last role and stuff. Or just, you know, on Twitter posting, you know, riff pictures of, like, all the great, you know, photos they've shot on Fuji. Um, that it was really that I realized, holy shit, you know, I have a roll of film that's discontinued that I've, you know, never shot before. Um, and this is probably, you know, the only role that I'm going to shoot as well. And because of that, you know, I decided to make a video on this. And, you know, it was also kind of hard to figure out where I wanted to actually go to shoot these, you know, 10 precious and probably sacred images that I will you know, every shoot. Um, so I decided to go down to Half Moon Bay and, you know, just for the day and kind of see, you know, the beautiful stuff around there and, you know, make the most out of these, you know, 10 images on Fuji Pro 400. All right, made it to Half Moon Bay. First starting out at the beach, as you can see behind me. Um, it only took about an hour and a half to get here, which is um, pretty nice, you know, when you take into consideration that I've definitely driven a lot farther just for pictures, but it is kind of, you know, overcast. Um, today, not much sun out, which does kind of suck and not very helpful when you're shooting 400 ISO, but you know, that is the Bay Area for you. Um, and this is also, you know, my first time actually being here, so I'm just kind of excited to kind of explore and see what's around here. So here's my prized possession, one roll of Fuji Pro 400 in 120. Um, this thing did expire in November of 2019, but that's not really that long ago, so I can just easily shoot this normally and, you know, have no problems at all. I don't know if I like this enough. See, this is gonna be the big problem with this role, is if these 10 things that I'm photographing, if I think they're actually worth it to be captured on this role. Okay, this is gonna make a great first shot here. All right, we're shooting out 125, so, um, you know, could wish I could go, you know, to 350, but it is not very bright out here. And then also, you know, I just want a higher charger speed to catch more of the waves, but you know, this still should be fine. First shot down. Mm -hmm. 
all right, so I said fuck it and came back to the spot. You know what? We're just gonna do it. I do wish I was a little bit taller though. All right, so we got three shots at the beach, so I think that was pretty successful. Um, more people starting to show up, and I don't really like to get people in my images, so I think we're gonna head into the downtown area now. Look at this find, a VW bus. <laughs> Let's just try not to get hit by a car, though. Found these cool trees here. Someone definitely plays their landscaping bill.
and we are back again at the beach for the last two shots. See, there's just like two people wandering, you know, just around on the beach. Usually I would wait for them to um, wait forever for them to leave, but I don't think they're gonna leave anytime soon. So we're probably gonna have people in this one. All right, on to the last shot. Okay, last shot here, just overlooking this giant cliff. Um, definitely <laughs> kind of close to the edge, but we're not gonna fall. Let's do this. See, when you need a bird to fly by, they just don't. Love to have a bird in this shot, but there's not really any out today, which sucks. Oh, here are two. Come on. And they didn't even come close. Okay, and that is the rule. Now it's just time to head back home and develop these. All right, so we are back, develop and scan to the roll. My images look great. You know, Half Moon Bay is definitely a nice and beautiful place. So it is kind of hard to, you know, not get a great picture out of there. Um, but for the film itself, you know, I think it looks great. You know, I really do like the colors, you know, that hue, that magenta hue you get. Very, you know, nice and inviting, you know, not a lot of saturation there, but, you know, it still definitely works. And it's definitely, you know, different from what I used to shoot is, you know, Portrait 400, which has, you know, the more yellow-blue tints to them. And then this, you know, the Fuji Pro has the more magenta green tint to it. So I definitely do like the contrast between them and definitely see why people, you know, use both in different situations. But because I only shot one roll of Fuji Pro 400, whatever I have to say about the film is definitely going to be different from people, you know, have been shooting it for years. This is their go-to film, you know, they know everything about it. Um, but for me, you know, it was definitely an enjoyable experience. Um, you know, nice and simple. Love the colors I got from it. You know, the saturation as well was kind of low, which does, you know, come in handy. And then also that high exposure latitude as well. Definitely, you know, is a great bonus to the film you know i could see why people love this film so much and kind of you know when it was discontinued you know everyone you know in the film community was just kind of in disarray and in shambles like because you know this was you know such a great film for them um but you know for someone like me you know i didn't really have that you know feeling because you know i you know just didn't shoot it but the only really feeling i have about it is it just, you know, just kind of sucks that i didn't get to try out the film more um, and definitely, you know, if this was my go-to film, like Portrait 400, I, you know, I can definitely see why people were, you know, definitely upset with the news of it being discontinued. Uh, but yeah, this kind of, you know, made me learn a lesson, kind of just try out more film stocks instead of just, you know, sticking to my go-to. Um, because, you know, it's just great to, you know, try out new film stocks. You never know when you're going to find one that you really love or, you know, find ones for, you know, different situations. Um, but, you know, also you just never really know when a film stock could be discontinued as well.